What's going on guys, Louis here. Today we're going to be doing tutorial HM2040, creating and editing line data, in which we will learn how to make sketches using lines, arcs, circles, and etc. So let's get right to it. We're doing this from scratch, so we're not importing any files today. Create a component and name it geometry. Let's first create nodes by the XYZ sub panel. Um, create node 1 at 0, 0, 0. Node 2 at 0, 0, 25. Node 3 at 0, 0, 37. Node 4 at 0, 5 and 25 and node 5 at 0, 5 and minus 2. Fit the isometric view and we can display the node's ID by clicking on this icon, selecting all and turning them on. Now create a circle if with the center at node 2. So go to lines, circle center and radius. Select x-axis which means the circle will be in the YZ plane. Select node 2 and type 5 in the radius field. Create an arc now by going to the arc center and radius sub panel. Select node 2, set the orientation to the X axis. Type 2.5 for radius, 90 for offset, 180 for angle and click create. Now set the view to the YZ plane and create a line joining nodes 4 to 5. Go to linear nodes, select nodes 4 and 5, then create. Now let's duplicate and translate this line. Go to the tool page, translate panel. Select lines and duplicate to current component. Then set the orientation to the y-axis, type 10 for the magnitude and click translate minus. To split a line, go back to the geom page, click the line edit panel, split up line sub panel. Select the top curved line of the circle, click cut line and pick the one between nodes 4 and 5, then click split. And we see that the circle line was split by a quarter from the rest. Repeat that for the other cut line. So pick this other line, then click split. Now display the lines. So click on the numbers icon, select all lines, and turn on. Let's delete the bottom half of the circle. So go to the delete panel. Select both the quarter circles and delete. Now we'll duplicate the arcs and reflect them to create a circle. Uh, this is just to show you guys how to use the available tools. So go to the tool page, then the reflect panel, change the orientation to Z axis, select node 2 as the base node, then select lines, Duplicate, then reflect, and that closes the circle. Let's create tangent lines now. Back to the Geom page, Lines panel, click Tangent. Set the selector to Node List, um, select Node 3, activate the line selector, and select the half circle, then create. And two tangent lines are shown, and the status bar asks us to choose one. Pick any of them, then repeat the process to create the other one. So pick the node, then pick the line, create, and just choose the other one. Display the lines numbers again, so click the icon, select all lines, and turn on. Now we will delete this section of the sem semicircle, go to the line edit panel, a split at line sub panel. Select the semicircle, click cut line, 
pick the left tangent line and click split. Do the same with the right tangent line. So click cut line, pick the left tangent line and click split. Now go to the delete panel, pick the leftover section and delete it. Now let's make some surfaces. Create a component for them by the model tree. So right click, create component and name it surfaces. We will start by creating a plane. So in the 2D page, go to the planes panel and square sub panel. Select the Z axis for orientation and pick node one as the base. Change from mesh, um, kick, keep surface to surface only. Then set the size to 30 and click create. We can check that the surface was done by selecting the shaded visual mode, but leave it in wireframe for now. To create a line connecting the two parallel lines on that plane, go to the Geom page, Lines panel, Intersect sub panel. Set the orientation to the Z axis, pick node 1 for the base, activate the line list and pick the two parallel lines and click create. Let's activate the geometry component again by clicking on the status bar and selecting geometry. To extend this line, we have just done to the surface edge, go to the line edit panel, extend line sub panel. Toggle from distance to two and set the selector to lines. In the top line selector, pick the line we want to extend and with the lower, pick the line up to which uh, it will be extended. Then click extend minus. Notice that even though the active component is the geometry, um, the extended line was set to the surface component because it was just a line addition and not a new line that was created. Let's create a fillet between these two lines. So go to the lines panel, fillet sub panel, check the trim original lines option, set the radius to five, activate the first line, pick the vertical line, activate the second line and pick the horizontal line. Select this quadrant for the fillet and it's done. Now we'll trim the other vertical line at the plane and delete the offset. Back to the line edit panel, split at panel sub panel, split at plane sub panel, sorry. Um, select that line, change the orientation to Z axis, click on node one for the, for the base and split. Go to the delete panel, delete that offset. Remember that when meshing, HyperMesh will place real nodes wherever there are these yellow temporary nodes. So if you don't want a real node to be created at them, go to the Temp Nodes panel, then just click Clear All. Set the visual, visualization mode to shade it again. And at last, we'll export our geometry as an IGS file. So go to the export toolbar, select geometry, in file type select IGS, in file select the folder in which uh, you want to export, select the units in which we want to export, and click export. And that concludes our job for today. We have learned some of the basic tools for creating and editing lines in general, but there is still much to know. So if, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.